what do a deck of cards and cookie cutters have in common? Well, nothing. <laughs> but in this video, I will use both of them to explain the definition for building area according to the Ontario Building Code. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Francesco and I want to follow up on a previous video in which I showed you how to distinguish between part three and part nine buildings using a method that always works. If you haven't seen that video, that's perfectly okay. I've linked it for you here, and it's also linked for you in the description of this video. The words building area are specifically defined in the Ontario Building Code. As such, if we go to Division A, Article 1.4.1.2, defined terms, we would find the following definition for building area. Building area means the greatest horizontal area of a building above grade, either within the outside surface of exterior walls or within the outside surface of exterior walls and their center line of firewalls. In its simplest form, building area is the footprint of a building that a bird sees when flying over that building. Does that make sense? Now, the difference between A and B here is that for A, which is within the outside surface of exterior walls, refers to what a bird sees for individual buildings that are not attached to any other building. Whereas for B, which is within the outside surface of exterior walls and their center line of firewalls, well, that refers to what a bird sees for buildings that are attached to other buildings. You know, like townhouses or buildings that share at least one wall with an adjacent building like these. At this point, let's dive a little deeper. We're going to do this with this deck of cards. As you can see here, I'm going to use each card as the story of a fictitious building. Here, for example, I have 10 stories of a building. Each story is represented by each one of these cards, one through 10. Also, don't forget that story is the Ontario Building Code's correct term for what we commonly refer to as a floor in a building. So first story is first floor, second story is second floor, and so on and so forth. Now, you might be wondering, why are my stories flat, right? Where are the walls? Well, that's because the vertical dimension of the exterior walls around the story has no effect on how building area is calculated. For the purposes of understanding building area, the exterior walls can be of any height, as long as they're actually there. My exterior walls are so short that it makes it look like the story is flat. Does that make sense? Now, let's get back to what a bird would see when flying over our building. If this is a conventional building, and each story is directly above the one above it, a bird would see a building as a rectangle, like this. Make sense? In this case, the building area is the outermost footprint of the walls, which in our case is the outermost footprint of this deck, right? Because each story is directly on top of the other, and each card is directly on top of the other. However, if I make this building a little less conventional, say by moving one of our stories out like this, do you see how the building area is now larger, even though the stories are still exactly the same as before. Again, that's because according to the Ontario Building Code, building area is based on the surface enclosed by exterior walls. And the exterior wall of this story is further out than the exterior wall of the other stories. Make sense? In fact, I can get very unconventional with this fictitious building. What if each story is rotated with respect 
to the next one, to the one above it or below it, like this. Do you see how the building area changes yet again? If you're interested, here are some examples of so-called twisted buildings like the KN Tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, or the Turning Torso in Malmö, Sweden, or Absolute World in Mississauga, Canada. Okay, let's move on to our cookie cutter. In the kitchen, cookie cutters are typically used to cut out a shape from a base, okay? A dough base or a similar food base. When it comes to building areas, cookie cutters can be used as another way to envision a building's area, okay? Just pretend the building you're analyzing is one giant cookie cutter and that you're going to squish it down into the ground below it, just like a cookie cutter. Whatever shape is left into the ground after you're done squishing the building is the building's area. Does that make sense? Okay. What if for the specific building you're analyzing, the shape of the story changes? Okay, right? Different stories. Well, cookie cutters can help with that too. See, if I'm putting two cookie cutters of different shapes on top of each other, can you see how if I were to press down all of this into the paper below, they would give us this weird combined shape it is made up of the outside most portions of both of those shapes. I hope that makes sense. We're talking Ontario building code and somehow we're using a deck of cards and somehow we're using cookie cutters. I think that's a sign that I've taken enough of your time. Also, I hope that this video provides you with a bit of clarity about the Ontario building codes definition for building area which again is the outermost area of a building enclosed by exterior walls. Thank you so much for your time. Take care, stay well, and have a lovely day.